This message is brought to you by Supernatural Life Ministry. Receive with excitement and grasp with passion the engrafted Word of God as it comes your way through God's servant, Ike Aziji, of the Supernatural Life Ministry. A man called by God with an embodiment of great grace and a mandate to reawake the greatness in you and to deliver mankind from every deception of the enemy. Now get ready for an unusual encounter with the Word of God that will take your life to the next level. Father, I thank you for another opportunity in your presence. And I pray that you use me as a vessel to illuminate, to heal, to deliver, and to restore everyone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Let this meeting today, let, let it bring deliverance, healing, restoration, blessings in, in the life of men and women listening to this broadcast at this moment. I thank you for it is done in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to you about asking big. Asking big. Ask big. What does that mean? You know, the Bible says everyone who asks it, receives it. He that seeks it, finds it. And the door is open to everyone who knocks on it. Now, asking big. Why must I ask, ask big? Ask big from God. Our God is a God of abundance. He's a God of more than enough. He wants your cup to run over. He wants you to have more than enough so you can be a blessing to the people around you. God wants to supply more than you need so you can positively affect people in your life. He is an overflowing, he's an abundance, he's an overflowing God. He's a God that has abundance in stock. He's a God that has more than enough. God said, you are born to reign in life. God said, you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. God said, whatever you touch will prosper and succeed. So, dare to ask big. Ask, ask big things from God. Let your dream and your desires be big. Ask big things from God. The medical report might not be very good, but there is another report. God says, I will restore health unto you. The number of your days I will fulfill. So don't look at the report. Ask God what you desire. Ask big. Maybe you are going through disappointments. Maybe you are going through setbacks. Maybe you are going through delays. Maybe you are having bad breaks. God is saying to you now, I will give you beautiful ashes. I will give you oil of joy for morning. I will give you the garment of praise in exchange for the spirit of heaviness. Your dreams might look impossible, but God is saying to you now, I will bring it to pass in your life by favor. It doesn't matter how big that dream, that dream may look like. Your dream might look impossible, but God say, I will bring it to pass in your life. God say, I am the creator of the heaven and earth. I am able, I am well able to grant the desires of your heart. I will bring it to pass in your life. God is saying, I will grant the desires of your heart. You know, Psalm 44 and verse 3 said that, that the children of Israelite, they did not get the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but by the light of God's word, by his arm, God showed them favor. They couldn't get the land by their strength, not by, their, by the weapons of war they had but by God, by favor. God is saying, telling you today, whatever, how, whatever that dream is, that expectation is, I will grant it to you by favor. I will give it to you by favor. You, it might look impossible, but I will do it for you. Ask me, ask me and I will do it for you. The, the Bible says in, in, in Psalm chapter 2 and verse 8, it says, Ask of me of the hidden for your inheritance, and I will give it to you. Ask me for the nations for your inheritance, and I will give it to you. God is telling us, ask big. 
Don't ask more. God is not asking you to ask for bread and water. He said, ask me for the hidden. Ask me for the nations, for your inheritance, and I will give it to you. God is saying, dare to ask big things from me. I am a big God. I am well able to grant the desires of your heart. Do not operate with a limited mindset. Take the limit off of God and ask big things from him. Ask God for new levels. Ask God for explosive blessings. Ask God, ask God to prepare you into your purpose and expectations. God can make things happen for you that you could never imagine. He has already placed abundance in your future. He has already placed the right opportunities in your path. He has already lined up the right people, the right connections in your future. And he's telling you, ask me, ask of me. Ask of me for the hidden as an inheritance. Ask of me for nations as an inheritance, and I will give it to you. Dare to ask me big things. I am a big God. I can grant the desires of your heart. Dare to ask me of big things. Don't ask me small things. Because whatever you ask God is what God is, is committed to perform. Whatever you ask him is what he will do in your life. So dare to ask him great things. Dare to ask him big things. Don't ask him for small things. He's a big God. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. He's well able to grant the desires of your heart. My question for you is, are you going to ask big or are you going to allow your circumstances or what somebody has said to stop you? When you go through life without asking, ask, without asking big from your heavenly father, you will miss the fullness of your destiny. You have to get this in your spirit, that the God who breathed life into you, that the God who has set you apart for favor is more than enough God. He's an overflowing God. Don't ask for money just to pay your bills. Ask for abundance so that you will be a blessing to others. Ask for abundance so that you will be a blessing to others. Something happened in the book of Matthew chapter 20, if you read the verse 29 to verse 34, the Bible says that Jesus was passing through Jericho and there were two blind men by the side of the road. They had all the commotion, they had, they had all the commotion that Jesus was passing. They began to cry out, Jesus, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. They started crying out, they started crying out, Jesus, thou son of David, have, have mercy on us. And Jesus walked over to them and asked them, what is it that you want me to do for you? Why did Jesus ask them what they wanted? Why did he ask them? He asked them because he wanted to see what they were believing. He wanted to see what they were believing. He wanted to know what, what was in their mind. They could have said, Jesus, we just need some money. We just need some help. They would have said, they would have told Jesus, they could have said, Jesus, we just need some money for food. We, we want to rent a better place to live. But they would have asked from a limited mentality if they have done that. It would have, it, it would have, kept, them, it would have kept them in defeat. Instead, they ask big. They say, Jesus, we want to see. We want our eyes to be opened. They were saying to Jesus, we know you can do the impossible. They were saying to Jesus, we know you can do the impossible. We know you can do this. We want our eyes to be open. We want to see. They didn't ask for water. They didn't ask for money. They didn't ask for accommodation or money to change, to change their clothing or money to live a better, in a better apartment. They were asking big. They were asking Jesus, we want to see. We want to see. We believe you can do it. We believe you are the God of all impossibilities. And when Jesus heard their request, he touched their eyes, and their eyes were restored, and they began to see. And they were able to see. God is asking us the same question. He asks the same question he asks those blind men. What is it that you want me to do for you? What is your request? What do you want me to do for you? 
What do you want me to accomplish in your life? What do you want, what do you want me to accomplish in your destiny? What is your goal? What is your expectations? God is asking us today, what do you want me to do for you? The same question he asked those blind men, he wants to know what we are believing. He wants to know what is in our mind. That same question, God is asking us that same question today. What are you believing? How you answer is going to, is going to, is going a long way. It's going, it's going, it's, it's going to go a long way to have a great impact on what, on your life. How you answer is going to determine what God is going to do for you. Asking small is going to limit your destiny. You must learn how to ask big. Ask for your dreams. Ask for the impossible. When you come to God, don't ask for survival. Don't ask for minimum wage. Don't ask for average. Ask God for big things. Ask big, for your God is a God of more than enough. God is saying to us, to you today, when you come to me, ask me to show, to show out in your life. Ask me to heal you from the disease. Ask me to accelerate your goals and your plans. Ask me for new doors to be opened unto you. Ask me for new doors in your careers, your new doors in your family, your new, your new, a new door in your life, in your career. Ask me for overflowing increase. Ask me for overflowing abundance. Ask me for higher levels. Ask me to set a new standard for you. That's what God is telling us. God wants to accelerate his goodness in your life. God wants to propel your life into the right direction. He wants to propel your destiny in the right direction. There was a man called Jabez in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 and verse from verse 9 to verse 10. His name, his name was Jabez. That means his name means pain, sorrow, suffering, defeat, trouble. That is all what his name means. Despite this rough upbringing, despite his struggles and the kind of upbringing that this Jabez of a man had, he still asked God for big things in his life. First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 to verse 10. He looked up to heaven as and asked big things from heaven. He asked God for a big thing. He said, Lord, I want you to bless me. I want you to enlarge my territories. He had the boldness to ask big things from God. He said, enlarge my territory. Enlarge me. Bless me indeed. That's exactly the, the prayer of that young man, even though his, his beginning, his upbringing, his life was miserable. His life was in pain, was in misery, was in trouble and defeat. But he, he overlooked all his challenges and the circumstances that he was in. And he asked God for big things. He asked God for strength opening of doors of favor. He asked God for strength opening of, door, of doors of increase. He said, Lord, I want you to bless me indeed. I want you to enlarge my total threes. I want you to bless me indeed. That was his prayer of that young man. And this is a man that's supposed to be ridiculed. This is a man that's supposed to live all his life in defeat, that's supposed to live all his life in depression. But he shaved off all his slave mentality. He, does, he, he shaved off all his slave mentality. It does not matter what your circumstances may be or the condition you are in right now. Your condition might not be as worse as that young man Jabez in the Bible. But he believed God. Just know you are a child of the Most High God, and that as big. Jabez went on to say, Lord, enlarge my Torah trees. Enlarge my Torah trees. Make my dream to come to pass. Bless me indeed. That was his prayer. He was saying, Lord, help me to go beyond the norm. Lord, I want to live in abundance. Lord, I want to live in favor. I want to be a blessing to my generation. I want to be a blessing to people around me. He said, bless me indeed that I will be a blessing to others. Bless me indeed and light my territories. 
bring increase, multiply my life, multiply my destiny, multiply my greatness. That's exactly the prayer of that young man. That's the prayer he prayed. He said, Lord, let me see more of your favor. Lord, let me see more of your goodness. Let me see more of your hand in my life. That is the kind of prayer he prayed. Enlarge my story through it. Enlarge my life. Like Jabez, you may have plenty of reason to settle where you are. The odds may be against you. Things may look very impossible. But the truth is, God is with you. For you and for you, God is for you. He is stronger than the opposition that may be trying to stop you. He is stronger than the obstacle that is trying to stop you. It doesn't matter what the boundaries may be. It doesn't matter what the limitations may be. It doesn't matter what the struggles may be. God is saying, ask me be. I am well able. It doesn't matter what, what is trying to stop you. But believe and ask be. You know, the Bible, God told, God told the people of Israelite, he said, I'm going I'm, I'm to, when they cry, when the people of Israelite cry unto, the, unto God when they were in the land of Egypt, God said to them, I am going to come down to deliver you. I'm going to come down to deliver you. But God didn't come down. God had to send Moses as a deliverer. If they didn't ask, God wouldn't have sent Moses. So if you don't ask, you're not, going to get, you're not going to get that if you don't ask it from God. God. God knows you need it, but God wants you to ask. God knows you want it, but he wants you to ask. For everyone that asks it, receive it. For everyone that seeks it, find it. To him that knocks, the door is open. So God is saying, you ask me. Ask me big things. I will do it for you. Now, God is with you. He can trust you forward than you ever imagined. You have to act like Jabez. Ask beyond what your circumstances may look like. Ask big despite what people are telling you. People might tell you that dream of yours is not possible. You cannot, you cannot achieve it. It's way beyond what you can achieve. They will tell you about your limitation. And how your dreams are so impossible to be realized. But you serve a God of all impossibilities. You serve a God that makes a way in the wilderness. You serve a God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. You serve a God that do the miraculous. That do great things. You serve a God that rules over the affairs of men. That reigns in the heavens and the earth. The creator of the heavens and the earth. The owner of everything living on the earth. There's nothing difficult for God to do. The Bible says in Jeremiah, I am the God, the, I, am, I am Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me to do? No. God is saying, is there anything you feel or you think that I cannot do? It, that's nothing impossible before God. That's nothing impossible. You know, I don't know what is happening around you. I don't know what the doctors have told you, but I decree over your life, in the name of Jesus, I cause the root of disease and sicknesses in your life. I decree your freedom now, in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what is happening in your body, I command total restoration in your body, in your vein, in your arteries, in your system, in your blood. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your career, you will succeed. I release increase, I release abundance, I release glory in your life, in your direction. You will be, your steps will be ordered by the Spirit of the living God. You will succeed in this land. You will rule and reign as king on the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. God is saying, ask me big things. Ask in spite of what the enemy keep whispering on, in your mind. Ask in spite of what the enemy is... is Keep whispering in your, in your ears. Jabez would have asked God to help him to survive. He would have asked God to help him to survive. But he did not do that. 
if, if he would have asked God to help him to survive, we would not be talking about him today. He would, he would not have been written. His story would, would not have been written in the Bible. But he asked God for strength things. Despite the opposition around him, he asked B, if you're going to beat the odds, if you're going to stand out in the crowd, if you're going to reach your highest potentials, you have to learn this principle to ask big from God. Ask big. Ask big. Ask for, ask for God to open a new door of business for you. A new door of advancement. Ask God to give you the, that impossible dream. God can do it. He's waiting for you to just open your mother's ask. He's a God that answers prayer. The Bible says, to him that answers prayer, to him shall all flesh come. He answers prayers. When you ask him, he do it. He's just waiting for you to open your mouth and ask. He said, come to me with boldness and ask in faith from me. That's what God is telling us. He's a God of superabundance. He's a God of more than enough. Ask him for your dreams. Ask him for him to turn that challenge around. Ask him for your healing. Ask him for your restorations. Ask him for increase. Ask him for blessings and favor. You are God's biggest deal. You are his prized possession. You are the apple of God's eyes. God will do anything to bring your plans to come to pass. He will do it. He said, ask me. Ask me. Nothing makes God happier than to see you step up to be who he has created you to be. Believe God to do the impossible in your life. He can do the impossible. He's a God of all impossibilities. He's a God of all impossibilities. He can do great things for you. Ask me. Ask me, he said. I will do it for you. Ask me, I will do it for you. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, it said, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you can ask or think. He can do above exceedingly, abundantly, and above everything you can think you can ask. He can do more than you ask. Ask him. He will do it. Ask him. Don't be weak in your faith. Keep asking. The Bible said to him that asks it, receive it. To him that knock it, the door is open. Ask him. Keep asking. He will keep giving. He will keep releasing it for you. Be strong in your asking. Be bold in your asking. The Bible says, come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain grace and find favor to help and find grace to help in the time of need. Come boldly. Ask boldly. Ask huge. Ask big. Your God is well able. You are, you are serving a God that is more than enough. A covenant-keeping God. A God that says what he means and he means what he says. If you ask him, he's going to do that for you. I pray for you today and I decree and I declare over your life that God will make you famous in every field of your endeavor. I decree and I declare your gift and your talent will stand out in the name of Jesus. I decree and I decree and I declare over your life that you will shine in all that you do. I decree and I declare over your life that you will have influence in every affairs of your life. I decree and I declare that you will rule in the midst of your enemies. I decree favor in your life. I decree blessing in your life. Every obstacle every limitation, every barrier that wants to stop your advancement. In the name of Jesus, I command them destroy. Every limitation placed over your life, I command them destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare, you will walk in divine ideas. I decree and I declare, you will walk in divine wisdom. The creative hand of God is upon your life. I command your firm to begin to, be, to, begin to shed abroad right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree over your life the manifestation of new skills, new expertise, 
that will announce you to your world in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life, you will rise more than you ever thought possible. In the name of Jesus Christ, say amen if you receive it. Say amen if you receive it. Amen. We will never like to close our broadcast without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Please, would you pray this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Friends, if you have prayed that simple prayer, we believe you just got born again. Get into a, God, a, a good Bible-based church. Keep God first and he will take you places you'll never imagine. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We know you've been blessed by this message. Tune in at the same time next week on this station for another inspiring word of faith. We want to see your dreams fulfilled. We want to see you healed. We want to see you blessed. And we want to make an everlasting, positive, impactful difference in your life. For supports and prayers, call our helpline at 306-999-2494. We would be glad to have you as a part of our family. For more impactful teachings, visit our website at www.supernaturallifeministries.org.